everybody, it's Bunny, and I'm a freaking full-fledged fairy now. I am addicted to wearing fairy ears. I'm sure that they're going to make a MTV True Life episode about me very, very soon, but I don't know, I like the look of it, it's festive. I don't know what kind of festivity it is, but it's festive, and um, whoever doesn't like my ears, I don't care because they make me happy. So really quick before I get started, I feel like I should tell you guys if my body and my face don't look like they're the same shade, it's because today I am testing out the KKW Beauty Body Foundation and this is what we're working with right now. Now that I've told you guys about that, I can tell you guys the true insanity that we are gonna be getting ourselves into today. Today, we are doing something that I've seen flying around on the internet with all the rest of the insanity. Today, we're gonna be doing a bit of a makeup challenge. We are gonna be using a full face of expired makeup products, which is shocking from me, the germ crazy person. Um, so I am doing this video a little bit differently. I think I'm cheating just a little bit uh, for the sake of my of my sanity. Uh, so today I'm going to be using old and, and expired makeup, but still new. Like stuff that I never got around to using. I'm feeling extra sassy today. I'm up for a challenge. So this entire old bag of mine, which, oh my God, I forgot I owned this thing. I just found it. Yeah, it's stuffed. It's stuffed with nastiness. And I've already got a pimple on my face today. So what the frick? How can it, how could it possibly get worse? Yeah, so I've got a bunch of fun stuff that for some reason I never use. Including a freaking luminous airbrush freaking makeup system. Let's just jump right into it. Also, should I put a disclaimer? You guys, I am feeling more like myself than I have in years. So I know the sudden burst of energy might be shocking and appalling to some, but I, I don't know, I've just been feeling really good lately. So I wanna have fun, I wanna be sassy. Yes. So, very first thing. I think I got this in a subscription box of some sort, and I don't know if any of these are an expiration date, but I thought it would make a good primer. It is basically a thermal spring water for sensitive skin that you spray on your face just to kind of check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, I can't wait to smell these products. I bet they're disgusting. Ooh. Oh my God. Yeah, that smells like funky water. We're getting off to a, a boogie woogie start here. Come a little closer. Uh, step one is going in with a concealer and I'm gonna be using this as an eye base and I don't think this product is too old. I just found it in my drawer. Um, so I think that this is gonna be the newest product that I'm using today. It is definitely older than six months old. Yeah, I feel like it's just going on a little bit patchy, so I am not that surprised. I am a little nervous about putting this near my eyes since this product definitely was already used. Why am I doing this right now? It's like I have no fear of mercury currently being in retrograde. I feel like mercury is always in retrograde at this point. Like, didn't that used to only happen like once a year, once every couple of years, and now literally like every two minutes? I see all these posts on social media about like Mercury is in retrograde and that's why we're all suffering. Um, side note before we jump into eyeshadow, AKA the most important part. I thought that this would kind of be fun. I found this random old perfume, which is actually dated the day that I made it. And I remember I used to love this stuff. It's actually like I made this scent myself. So that's why it says um, it's made on the swamp by Bunny, and I think this brand is called Le Labo, which kind of sounds like some sort of disease you would get as a werewolf. It actually has an expiry date of 12 months. Hopefully you guys can see that. Anyway, let's just spray it on. See how rank it is. Ooh, oh, kind of strong, kind of funky. Here, you have a smell. But also, dare I say, I like it. So up next is the star of today's video and honestly the entire reason why I wanted to do this video because today we are gonna be using the Tarte Cosmetics Swamp Queen palette and this collab I did with Tarte back in 2016 
and I don't know, I've just been having such warm, fuzzy feelings about this palette lately. I posted a throwback of it like a couple of weeks ago on Instagram now, and it was just so much fun to hear all of the positive comments, how many of you guys are still using this product, and it was just a super fun trip down memory lane. So in my house, I have about 90 of these that are unused. So yeah, oh my God, you guys remember this. This was so much fun. Here's like the little instructional thing that I did with the palettes and oh my God. Uh, I'm excited to see, wait, does this have, oh yeah, 12 month expiry date on it. So I kind of don't know about this gray area about like makeup expiring if it's unused, especially powder products like this. Like, does it really expire? I don't know. And oh my God, I'm excited to see if it's still gonna have that signature like vanilla cupcake scent. Oh my God, it does. Like the smell has kind of faded a little bit, but oh my gosh. Okay, so here is the full palette. We're gonna be using a lot of it today and it comes with a little brush as well. So, oh my God, I, I'm like having flashbacks. I have not used this palette in so long. Should I use like, a different bra. I mean, I guess it's clean. I don't know. Oh my God, my eyelids are starting to feel so tacky. I just looked down and I was like, oh my God, yes. There's a little toot toot provided in here. Why don't we just do this uh, night look and I'm gonna try and recreate it step by step. And I can probably guarantee you it's gonna come out looking a lot better than this. I really feel like I've been practicing makeup for years now. And I'm gonna go through and add this shade. So natural peaches, oh. Uh, then I went through and defined my eyes by blending dog man along the crease. The next step was to apply sippy sippy to the outer crease for a more smoky effect. Then I went through to awaken my eyes by blending sassy bun onto the center of my lid. And the last step was to go through and highlight the brow bone and inner corner using big baby. Uh, then the rest of the steps is to kind of like complete the makeup look by adding the blush, the bronzer, the highlight, all of that jazz, uh, mascara, blah, 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 blah. Um, and as I'm sure you guys can tell, well, I feel like this needs more blending, but as I'm sure you guys can tell, this looks nothing like this. Quite apparently, I'm unable to follow any instructions, including my own, that I've written for myself using my own palette. What is Earth? All right, um, I feel like I had more foundation choices than anything else. Why do I have so many old damn foundations? I don't know. Uh, so first of all was this collector's Bare Minerals Edition, Collector's Edition, Bare Minerals Powder Foundation. I also have a CC Veil Foundation. Oh, I bet this is nice and crispy from IT Cosmetics. Oh, it's still sealed by it. Let's see. Ew, it looks like it kind of like shrunk in there. But I feel like since I have this whole Luminesce system that I've never used and I opened up the makeup and took a look at what we're dealing with and it's definitely like super separated. Like this is like kind of yellowy. I don't even know if it's reading through on camera, but uh, it definitely looks like the most disgusting and I feel like I just want to use this airbrush system. So uh, that's what we're going to be going with today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I used to, I feel like only use Luminous Air Foundation for a long time. It was kind of like one of my first makeup videos I ever did on YouTube. So this is going to be a blast from the past. Oh my God, there's a DVD in here. Instructional manuals which we know I'm not gonna read. This is so much more sophisticated than my first system. There's like a cap now. So let me just unwrap all of this and plug it in. Oh my God, we're gonna have to say goodbye to my sweet little graveyard girl sign back there. Ooh, okay, I do remember you like hold this down to get it chugging. Oh my God, so, so sophisticated. Okay, I think I have everything set up. And like I briefly mentioned, I am wearing this body makeup today. So luckily the starter kit has a bunch of different shades. 
so oh my god look this one is like red at the bottom uh i'm gonna be mixing a couple of different shades together today i think i'm gonna mix shades one two and three together i seem to remember that that was like kind of the part of the fun of this whole thing was like ugh, like add little drops mix it all together spray your face that's the only thing i didn't consider is i feel like i used to do foundation before eyeshadow now how am i gonna spray this foundation on my face and not spray over the eyeshadow i've already done also a lot of these products are very sticky and i don't know why but let's just not ask questions today let's just keep moving forward also this is a primer i seem to remember really liking this um i don't know i'm probably gonna use this thing today and then miss it so much and then like i can just buy fresh makeup um how many drops do i use i don't know i'm just gonna like put in like i don't 20 ew <gasps> it's frothy because i just shook it up i'm being so dramatic i'm just gonna use 500 drops actually it says six i just belligerently added way more than four to six drops but I'm just doing it my way today. Uh, I can't remember how loud this thing is. Let's find out together. Oh, oh my God, it's glowing. Ew. <gasps> wow. This room is actually horrifying when I turn all the lights out. Oh my God. I pushed it again. I thought I was turning it off. Now it's glowing blue and it's more vibrate-y. I don't, I don't know how to, what, what happens if I push it again? Now it's red. What? <gasps> okay. Um, I think it's just that there's multiple speeds. Like I said, this one is way more sophisticated than anything I ever had that has like three different speeds so that you have better control. I know that they do make like blush and highlighter. So I think that that's why you would want the lower speed so that you can spray it in a more like defined area. I forgot how amazing these things are and how like refreshing it feels when you're spraying the makeup on your face. I feel like I'm way too close right now. So I'm just going through and priming. Okay, my face is primed. Uh, so let me shake up all of these freaky foundations. Shake, 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 shake. It is freaking Leo season. So my sass is off the Richter scale. I bet they're ready to go. Okay, actually they mix together really good. But uh, if I had to guess, these are probably like at least three years old. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use this little cap that I've never used before. This is so cool, especially if you're doing what I'm doing right now. Cause I feel like now I can actually go like this and kind of like mix up the different shades of foundation. I can't resist. I want to try and spray one of my elf ears. So let's just do it. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. Okay, I think it's just making them wet. Just a good old nice wet elf ear. Ew, it's just not adhering to the ear. You know what, maybe we'll try the IT Cosmetics, the CC cream. Maybe that'll work. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna kind of like, I guess cover my eye or, I don't really feel like it affected the eyeshadow too much. Like I might need to go back and touch up a little things here, a little things, a couple things here and there. A couple little things here and there. That's what I was trying to say. Um, but wow, I feel like it has a really nice natural finish. I forgot how much control you have where you can really just zero in there and cover up like zits and other problem areas. I feel like it's a really nice buildable coverage. So freaking wow, it looks really good. Anyway, uh, my quest for e.l.f. ear makeup does not end there. So for that, I am gonna go in with this um, Cushion CC Foundation. Yes, from IT Cosmetics. Let's see if it's like dried up. It does look a little dried up in there, but let's see. Eh, we were able to like act, oh my God, but it's like sinking in now. Ugh. Let's see what we can do with these ears. Oh my God, now there's like makeup like kind of on them. Is that working? Is anything happening? I saw in the comments of like one of my last videos, a lot of you guys are elf ear wearers as well. So do you guys have any tips for making these look more real? Is that kind of working? I don't know. I don't know, maybe that made them look like a little more natural. Is there any difference? Makeup ear, non-makeup ear. Suddenly I'm like, Super concerned about how natural my elf ears look. I feel naked without my ears. 
let's put them on again why does this look so natural on me so i just looked down and i found this product which has actually been used before so that's cringe uh i'm just gonna wipe off the top but i cannot resist using this as a cream contour shade because i love this product so much and i don't even know if tarte makes this anymore or not but it's called um the sculptor and i think that this is in park avenue princess so i'm now covering my face with the whole freaking palette so you guys can't see what i'm doing um so i'm just kind of adding all over my face and i can't even tell you how many years old this is it's still like shockingly really easily going on my face i feel like it does feel a little dry like there is a little drag but not as gross as i was expecting where can i find an old beauty blender <laughs> ew oh my god look at what sacrilegious spawn i just discovered from the gates of hell what was this thing called i did a does this thing really work on this item like what two years ago now but it's like this oh my god it was like a silly sponge beauty blender uh i do remember it bounces oh all right um i'm going to go say a prayer dunk this in straight alcohol and then i'll come back and we'll do what we need to do i guess this thing is just permanently this way i scrubbed it like five freaking times and then i soaked it in alcohol and there's still pretty heavy kind of makeup residue going on in there what the heck also it feels like kind of sticky why is everything sticky today now i'm scared i'm gonna get pink eye is this how you get pink eye is this doing anything like i feel like i'm literally just rubbing a hunk of rubber on my face maybe avatar baby would be a more effective blender but also i just feel like i'm like rubbing makeup off like i feel like everything is adhering to this thing i don't i don't understand get out of my sight and just try and blend this puppy out with a brush i also smell a vinegary smell oh kind of this makeup brush we're just gonna pretend like that's not happening we're just gonna ignore it setting powder suddenly becoming very clear to me why i never used this product oh these giant kitchen scissors sure did the trick let's take this brush and go wow 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 powder is flying this looks like it's almost doing nothing love that oh it does feel oddly hydrating but it does kind of have a smell to it oh okay okay i can't i can't anymore yes give it to me uh let's jump back into my entire reason for filming this video today the swamp queen palette but i'm gonna jump in with the shade sweet tea uh which is the bronzer in here and we're gonna try and like correct what we just did wrong story of my life you guys know that i love contouring oh my god i forgot how much i love this shade there we go looking good uh all right up next what should i do let's do blush how old is this makeup somebody leave me a comment down below i have definitely swatched this because i know i did like a full first impression friday video or like a collection video i don't know um i kind of miss when everybody was like mad hype for mac collections like that so this is the shade crazed imagination oh my god i forgot how amazing this is i kind of wish that they would do like round two so the packaging is so great i mean especially if you're a fan of rocky laura picture show so you can probably see i definitely swiped my crusty finger in there like five years ago this is not a good idea <sighs> okay let's just pick up just so i'm trying to get it from the non-touched side wish me luck with that um i also feel like this is like not a good blush shade necessarily for this look but hey it's old so we're using it okay i feel like maybe if i dig in there i don't really feel like i'm picking up too much pigment it was like looking completely invisible to me it's definitely not it's definitely there i probably did way too much uh, oh i know uh i'm gonna go through with all of these brushes that i just used to do the eye look okay um i went through and smoked everything out i just used all the same shades 
I don't even know why I'm telling you guys step by step as if this is some kind of freaking tutorial. And then I went back through with my crusty dusty eyeliner and I just did a little bit of a probably extremely uneven baby wang. Let's go in with the true queen of this palette, which is the highlighter shade called Gator Wings. Add that highlight. Oh my gosh. I love this shade so much. Yes. So just to kind of make my eye look pop a little bit more, I'm actually gonna go in with Gator Wings and use it as like a brow bone highlight as well. Okay. So next thing we're gonna do is probably the thing I'm second most excited about, which is lip shade. Um, and I actually have my very own Tarte shades here as well. So we have Swamp Queen and Texas Toast. So let's see, I don't know how like gross or stuff, what? Um, okay, this actually like doesn't look separated at all, which I'm honestly like ridiculously shocked. Oh, okay, ew. <laughs> Like I opened it and now I'm like, okay, um, definitely looks like kind of settled in there. Let's smell this. <laughs> Still kind of smells minty. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to try and like stir it around in there. So I get the actual true color. Cause I don't know how the pigmentation would not have separated by now. Just like sitting dormantly. Let's zoom in. Hi there. Yes. Let's go ahead and add this. Oh my God. I know I'm gonna miss this so much when I apply it to my mouth. Oh my God. Wow, the formula is like kind of shockingly, like still feels pretty good. It does feel like a little bit maybe like separated or kind of oily. Like I feel like it was more of like a matte mousse four years ago, three years ago. Why can't I count? What year is it? All right. Um, I just applied three coats of the oldest mascara that I dare to put anywhere near my glass balls, which just so happens to be Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, which just so happens to be uh, what I listed as the mascara to use with my tutorial. So last and final step is to apply an old crusty dusty pair of eyelashes and look at this super old pair of velour lashes I have. I feel like they haven't done this packaging in a million years, but I kind of want something a little bit more dramatic. And I found that these lashes from this brand called Esquito, and I think unfortunately they don't even exist anymore, but I don't know. Uh, this set is called Miss Dolly and I really like it. They're super long and dramatic. So I'm gonna clip them down and glue them on. And then I will have the final look for you guys. All right, you guys, this is my total completed look. And oh my God, I feel like I just need to start using this every single day again. I honestly, doing this video makes me realize how much I miss it. This is still just definitely one of the things that I'm most proud of throughout my entire YouTube career. I just remember like I'm just having flashbacks today of all of the fun times I had, like going to Tarte headquarters in New York, um, all of the years of effort. I feel like this took like a year and a half to almost two years that we were working on it behind the scenes. Just so much love and just, I don't know, such such good memories, such good times, and it was so much fun to jump back in today and use it. And as I'm sure I've already said 500 times, this was definitely like kind of my reason for doing this video. But overall, I'm really impressed with like all of this stuff. I feel like pretty much every single product still worked pretty well. Um, I feel like the look that I did today, even though it was based on my step-by-step -step instructional, I feel like it looks different and I feel like my makeup turned out better today. So I'm actually pretty shocked by how well all of these products still worked even though they are a million years old. Yeah, if I wasn't such a complete chicken, I would probably leave this makeup on all day, but I think I am just gonna go ahead and wash it off. Besides my own products, which obviously I'm gonna have a bias towards, definitely my favorite rediscovery of today was the Luminous Airbrush System. Like, <laughs> dare I say, I don't know, I just forgot like 
how amazing this product truthfully is and I bet if I had like actual foundations that weren't all separated and 500 years old I would love it even more and unfortunately definitely the worst thing that I rediscovered today is that weird um silly sponge thing I don't know I just feel like those like silicone things were never like super high on my list of stuff that I that I really liked or ever really got to super successfully work for me. Uh, for some reason, I remember that one kind of being like the best of the worst, but I don't know if I just completely forgot how to use them entirely, but that, that was just a freaking nightmare. That was a nightmare. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you would like for me to do this again. Do you guys want me to like dig up more products? Do you guys want me to like use the freaking Swamp Queen palette again? Uh, I feel like there's so many awesome colors in here that I didn't even get to use today like I feel like there's so many like purple shades in here I could have used too I don't I'm just gushing about this today I know some of you guys are gonna be so freaking annoyed with the elf ears and me just loving my own palette but that's just how today's video went so let me know if you guys would like for me to use more old makeup leave this video a like leave a comment down below just signify in some way that you would like for me to do this again thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the swap family and give an alligator its wings also don't forget hit the notification bell down below if you'd like to be notified every time i upload a new video to this channel thank you guys so so much for hanging out today i love y'all so much and i will see y'all again very very soon 